the remainder of the trench play 49ers D-line, Eagles O-line, Eagles D-line are all pretty good. I love that. I was going to say it's kind of um it's going to be a strength on a strength with the 49ers defensive line against that O-line, but there is going to be some mismatches. I was going to well, well, we'll start here. Who do you have more confidence in? We're going to start with the quarterbacks. Who do you have more confidence in, Brock Purdy or Jalen Hurts? If you were going to start a team maybe from scratch, or or if you just want to talk about in this game, um, when it comes to protecting the football, when it comes to scoring touchdowns, you kind of talked about Christian McCaffrey. I think you, and you can double check me on this, but Jalen Hurts and Christian McCaffrey are tied for 11, touchdown, or 11 rushing touchdowns this year, right? Kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Same. Um, that's such an asset that the Eagles have with Jalen Hurts. That's so crazy that they're getting. I know, I know. That's the way that, you know, they're able to operate and it's efficient. Yeah. And that that's why, like, a lot of times, like, sometimes you're kind of like, why is he in the MVP conversation? He's really not protecting the football and stuff like that. But um, with him bringing that, like, total complete aspect, like, he's basically – two players in one like he gets to be their quarterback and their star running back like he's he's doing the work that purdy is doing if purdy was purdy and mccaffrey in one guy kind of that might yeah. be over it but you know it's but pretty- you're talking about confidence i think this is a tough question and i'm not saying it's tough because i do believe there is one quarterback who is definitively better than the other i think at this stage right now i think there is one quarterback who has proven a little more and who's been definitively definitively a little better in their career however if you talk about confidence like i mentioned at the beginning of the year uh or sorry beginning of this uh, episode i keep saying random times beginning of this episode though jalen hurts has 14 turnovers this season that's double of what Brock Purdy has. I believe even more than double, or no, uh, directly double, because Purdy has two fumbles, five interceptions. That's double of yeah. what Brock Purdy has. So that's been an issue this year. And that's why I think you can create an argument for Brock Purdy being higher than Jalen Hurts if you talk about the uh, the MVP race. I think that there's an argument to be made. I don't know if I would go strongly into that argument. I think it could be a flip of the coin. But a lot of people believe Jalen Hurts is the front runner for MVP. I don't even know if he's the front runner in his own division for MVP. I would put my vote for Dak Prescott over Jalen Hurts if I had given the choice. I've been pretty high on the Dak Prescott MVP race this year. I don't know if he's the front runner overall, but I I believe that he's been very underrated this year. And so, if I'm talking more confidence, I think I still have I to go hurt. That last game, I felt like that got some people talking. You need. To oh yeah, do well because on it's in prime time. Yeah, game. yeah. And so he'll have another opportunity next week because he faces Philly in prime time. Philly, I mean, that's going to be a huge divisional game. But confidence-wise, I'm going to go with Hurts just because, especially when you consider the the circumstances of this game, the run effect will be a little more important. Hurts obviously provides a lot more in that realm. And overall, if I'm talking about building a team, I think that I'd prefer a quarterback like Hurts, a guy who you can create a system around, and a guy who has the dual threat capability. But I do think that there is an argument to be made when you talk about specifically decision making with the way turnovers have happened this year for Hertz. I really like that. I um I, I feel like it's so interesting because I don't think that the Eagles would trade for Brock Purdy. Like I think that the way their team has been um constructed, Jalen Hurts is the perfect quarterback for them. But I also think that the 49ers wouldn't want Jalen Hurts. I think that they like both teams have really mastered kind of building a team around their quarterback, which is kind of interesting because the Eagles have obviously had a little bit more time to do that around Hertz than the 49ers have around Brock Purdy. They kind of just, I don't want to say fell into a perfect fit, but um, I do think it's an interesting conversation because I don't, I think in order to actually judge them, you kind of have to say, okay, if I was starting from scratch, because both teams at least how they are right now, I don't think would trade their quarterbacks straight up for the other. Do you? Do you think that Kyle Shanahan would trade would trade Purdy for Hurts right now? Uh, I do. Yeah, I think if you oh, if really? you have the opportunity, okay. I like. This. I think I like if you have the opportunity. Um, I uh, you take Jalen Hurts. Okay, I like that. That's interesting. Yeah, and I think Brock that, is a good, I mean, Brock has been a great fit. I I just yeah. think that. When when I think about Kyle and the way that his true fully unleashed offense could be, 
I think it, it's what you want with Jalen Hurts. It's the reason he traded three picks for Trey Lance. I think that's what he wants. Now, I, I mean, Jalen, Brock Purdy has proven himself this year to be a pretty strong yeah. quarterback option. But I think, yeah, if he, if you if you had the opportunity to go straight up, I think he would go with Jalen Hurts. I love that. That's kind of – I like that because I, I think sometimes people, um, myself included, maybe over-exaggerate how smitten – uh, Kyle Shanahan was Brock, is with Brock Purdy. I think he does really like him, but but you're right. He I don't think he's like completely settled on like this is 100,000 percent my franchise quarterback for the foreseeable future. I think he's like, hey, this guy is extremely good and works in our system extremely good and is not only maximizing our offense but allowing us to maximize the talent around him because he's so cheap. Um, when Kyle Shanahan was talking about MVP today, if I can find it. He actually said that Christian McCaffrey should be in the MVP conversation and should be strongly considered um, as the MVP frontrunner, which I thought was interesting because I think a lot of people debate this when it comes to Brock Purdy versus Christian McCaffrey, especially because the award does lean so heavily quarterback. And I was kind of, I was going to ask you about depending on the winner in this game and which players go off, if this game could be a strong case for, you know, um, catapulting whether it's Jalen Hurts, Christian McCaffrey, or Brock Purdy into maybe leading that front runner MVP conversation. Obviously Jalen Hurts is already there. So with a win that could potentially really solidify or exaggerate that uh, enthusiasm for him. But if Brock Purdy completely goes off and you can tell not only if the 49ers win, but if he's a big factor in them winning, gets multiple touchdowns, is really distributing the ball, um, scrambling in the face of pressure even though the eagles have already kind of said that their goal is to limit that i think that you can see a lot of people starting up that mvp conversation for him because they do lean so quarterback centric but i do think that christian mccaffrey should be involved and kyle shanahan kind of talked about that too he said that he kind of thinks it's bogus that it is a quarterback award do you think that um it should be something that that is considered if the 49ers win and Christian McCaffrey is able to run all over this team do you think that he should be uh in that MVP conversation do you agree with Kyle Shanahan or do you think that it would be go towards a quarterback and Brock Purdy would have a better chance I still think that if you talk about it um Christian McCaffrey in my opinion I said it last year I'm gonna say it again this year because I think it's true I think he's the most valuable player on this team um and again I'll, I'll say this once again, most important and most valuable to me are two different distinctions because most valuable takes into account, um, it, it's more of a impact award in terms of statistics, in terms of how you change the outcome of the game. Most important to me would be Trent Williams, but most valuable would be Christian McCaffrey because their impact on the game is in different ways. And so that's the way that I look at it. Um, but I, I do believe Christian McCaffrey is this team's MVP. I think that he's the reason this offense flows to the level that it does. I thought that last year and I thought that this year as well. I think he's the number one, um, you know, he's the number one weapon on this team. And I think Kyle Shanahan has really found a different way to implement his offense with Christian McCaffrey in the fold. I think he's waited for a running back that he can utilize like he's utilized Christian McCaffrey. And obviously, I mean, what better than to get the best dual threat running back in the entire game? And so that's where my stance is. As for MVP talks overall, I think that if any year were to be the year where a non-quarterback could be in the race for MVP, I feel like it could be this year. I just feel that this is the, this is the year where when you talk about quarterback play, there are elite level quarterbacks who are still performing very well. But I don't know if there's any true, clear, like, you know, uh, front runner for the MVP award. I think that it's a mix. And then. Oh, bye, Rohan. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wait for him to come back, hopefully. And I'll continue to talk about the MVP conversation. I think that a lot of people feel like it's almost a waste of time to even discuss Rohan's back, to even discuss. Uh, quarterback. Hi, Rohan. Yeah. What happened? You got so excited. Hope I got so was. excited that I accidentally clicked the trackpad and clicked X on the tab. So <laughs> that's what I was saying. But 
essentially what I was kind of continuing forward is when you talk about MVPs in the non-MVP rate or in the MVP race, I think this could be the year where a non-MVP ends up winning the trophy if there were to be a year. Ultimately, I don't believe that's going to be the case. I still don't. Um, I, I think when you talk about uh, the MVP for some reason, it's always going to be entrenched with the quarterback position. And so I think that that's going to be important because guys like Mahomes, I, I mentioned Dak Prescott, even Lamar Jackson. When you talk about the MVP, it's going to be to a, a player on a winning team. Those are some of the guys who have some of the best records. But Tyreek Hill, I mean, if he breaks 2,000 yards which and breaks the, the receiving record, that could be, you know, that could be a, a guy you, you talk about. McCaffrey, he has 16 McCaffrey touchdowns McCaffrey. already. He's been dominant. He's a guy he who, did. yeah, go ahead. He gets, I think it's 20, is it 28? The last two guys that were not um, quarterbacks that won, that won um, MVP had 28 touchdowns, I think it was. Is that right? Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah. Um, I Like you're saying uh, skill position players, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, feel like I think it's going to be for it it's got to be something like that. I think a lot of people think it's impossible after Cooper Cup didn't win it when he got the triple crown, but I think it's important to consider the quarter like how well the quarterbacks were like that season. Aaron Rodgers had like an insane it was like 30 something touchdowns to like three interceptions or something and um the second the runner up was Tom Brady and he had a ton of yards and a ton of touchdowns. I don't think any of the quarterbacks right now that are in the conversation for MVP are doing as well as either of those quarterbacks were doing. And I do think that that gives the skill position players, whether it's Hill or McCaffrey, a little bit of a better odds to do that. Because even though even though Cooper Cup did Cooper Cup did really well, he was in competition with maybe better quarterback play that year than there is this year. But yeah, no, it all I, depends I think, on how they perform yeah. in December, I think. No, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I just thought it, I found it interesting that, that Kyle Shanahan, when he was talking about MVP, he he leaned towards Christian McCaffrey over, like, it wasn't like he was like, oh, yeah, and Brock Party should be, you know what I mean? Like, he was, like, giving his case for why Christian McCaffrey should be involved in that, in that, um, 